tell if Rada al Saran is playing with Count Verandas' emotions, or is totally serious with these offers. Please, see how my father fares. If Rada al Saran thinks I won't follow him to oblivion to end his miserable life, he's got another think coming. If Ifri's barky backside, he was right there. Can we go after him? Verandas must know how to do that. Talk to him. Rada has started the ritual in his sanctuary realm. I can feel the pull in the darkness. Soon the dark storm will consume the energy in the dark heart. Then more people of the reach will die to feed the heart and power this apocalyptic storm. Rada aligned the orrery in order to make his escape. Use the keystone on the dwarven mechanisms that control it. That should open a breach we can travel through. Then, maybe, I'll have a chance to stop this storm I created. I never intended my theories to be turned into reality. When my research into a way to grant mortals the same immortality as vampires kept leading down dark paths, I abandoned it. I should have also destroyed it. Rodda corrupted it for his own ends. When you're ready, activate the mechanisms on each of those platforms in sequence. This process should be less risky than what we attempted earlier, I believe. Rodda has already aligned the device to point to our destination. Theoretically, we need only reactivate the orrery to open the gateway. Be on your guard, nevertheless. Don't look at me. You were the one working all the contraptions before. If you're worried, I'm sure Verandas knows what to do. Fire up that rotten contraption. I'll be right behind you. Well, the Dark Storm isn't going to stop itself. Let's see about getting this portal open, shall we? Someone must keep the orrery in operation. They give me an earful when we return. I'm holding you to that. Understand? You're really just going to hurl yourselves through the void and hope for the best? I was really hoping Varadis had something tricky up his sleeve. I guess there's nothing left to do but smack Rada al Saran in his self-righteous face. You just bring Varandas back. Promise me. You better. The only reason I'm agreeing to stay behind is because you're going with him. I can count on one finger the number of people I'd trust with this. So get this done. We'll be waiting to hear all about it when you get back. Well, this is it. The portal that leads to Rada al Saran. To the Darkstorm. And to the end of all this. Whatever that is. Now you sound like Verandas before a trip. I swear not to wreck the place while you're gone. And if the Grey Host shows up to start trouble, I'll stop them from wrecking it too. So get going already before I change my mind. I can almost understand it. Rada al Saran's desire, I mean. The unpleasantries of living with this curse have haunted me a long time. The thought of what awaits me in the afterlife fills me with no less dread. Anyone would seek an escape. I'd be lying if I said no. But the price of salvation is too high. Rada al Saran will doom thousands of souls to fates worse than death so that he and his chosen can escape. I don't need an eternity with that on my conscience. 
You and my father will see this through. I know it. Just come back, all right? You both still owe me a proper reunion. I'll do all I can to keep the orrery in alignment, but I don't know how long it can sustain this. I don't believe it was designed to have this amount of power coursing through it. I'm fairly certain the dwarves built this as an observatory to chart the void. What we're doing is more akin to plunging a telescope into a fathomless depth so we can slip through the tube without getting wet. Let's hope it doesn't spring a leak. This is it, then. Everything that happened in Windhelm, Solitude, and Markarth. It all leads to this. To Radha al Saran. More than ready. I've sworn my blade to thrones and causes, but my blood and bones are Nord. If Radha al Saran thinks he can ravage my homeland and get away with it, he's about to be very wrong. Besides, who else is gonna watch your back? Trying to scare me off? I know what we're getting into. But if we do get stuck in some lost realm of oblivion, I could think of worse company. Now, let's stuff the talk and kill this bastard. Can't say I'm looking forward to another romp in oblivion. I've seen enough of the place for ten lifetimes. Let's make this a quick trip, alright? Every place I've visited in Oblivion has been different. Chains and machines for Molag Bal. Endless libraries for Hermaeus Mora. Each realm shaped by its prince. But Radha al Saran shows a place beyond their reach. Guess we'll soon find out. We are about to travel into the unknown. Take a moment, speak to our companions. Make whatever peace will calm your soul. When you're ready, we shall enter the portal together. I'll... No. Nothing else needs to be said. I have worked all my life to atone for the hubris of my first years as a vampire. Rodder went to great lengths to remind me of my damnation. And I still can't control the darkness racing through my blood. I may not be able to do what must be done. <laughs> Those words keep returning to haunt me. They never fail to make me feel foolish. Both for having said them, and for doubting them. Things may look hopeless from here, but there may be a better vantage on the other side. Only one way to find out. The portal into the Dark Heart stands open and waiting. Let's just hope it leads where I think it does. As ready as I can be. I don't have the luxury of walking away this time. Let's get moving. The more active the Dark Heart becomes, the harder it is for me to concentrate. It's like a constant barrage of noise I can't hear, but I can certainly feel. Exactly? I have no idea, but Rodder aligned it to open a specific destination. I can sense the dark storm gathering, so we must have reached it. Of course, the chaotic forces of the Void may change our trajectory and hurl us into the vast emptiness. I expect you back before Fenorian gets bored. Don't make me come in there after you. We shall endeavor to return shortly. Farewell, my friends. Are we leaping into the gaping portal or not?
you bastards! There you are. Damn shades are everywhere. Where's Verandas? You don't know how glad I am to see you. Thought I might have been the only one to make it to this ugly hunk of rock. Rada al Saran's sanctuary realm, I hope. Doesn't look like much, but it's got more charm than Cold Harbor. It does kind of remind me of Molag Bal's realm, though. That's probably the plane it was melding with before it got stuck between worlds. You're the first thing I've seen aside from those shades. They aren't tough, but they'll overwhelm you if you aren't careful. You and I should be fine, but Verandas won't last long on his own. Not in his condition. Let's follow the storm. Hopefully, Verandas will do the same. You hear that? Voices in the storm. Grey ah! host. The dark storm must be working. We have to hurry. Roda. Save all of us. Salvation is within our grasp. All you need to do is take hold. Don't you, you do really it, Count. We'll have Don't peace you here. dare.
Not even Mola Ball can threaten us here. The Grey Host will be an unstoppable force. Nothing will be beyond our reach. Rodda, your dream was never mine. It ends here. Verandis, we are nearly free. Verandis! Join our forsaken kin in Molot Ball's teeth, you traitor! Watch this, as I destroy everything you cherish. Oh, I'm going to enjoy this, Pity you who. bastard! How is it you aspire to be... This is the sword that split Leckie's blade, reforged in bitter blood. You will taste it soon. Blood, blade, and soul as one. What to take first? An arm? An eye? Get away from that magic! This is the best you could muster, Verandis. and sisters. Devour them! I can feel the dark heart tugging on those souls. Strike down more of the Grey Host. I... I have a plan. That's it. Keep feeding their souls to the dark heart. I can use this power. The dark heart is depleted. Slay more of the Grey Host to fill it. Souls are collected and must be released. I've woven a trap. Bring Rodda to me. How? How can you turn the dark heart against me? and I'll summon another. The work of Melidia will not be stopped by the likes of you. Summon the soul trap! Get ready! Bring Rod 
Goodbye, Rodda. I wish I could have found salvation for us both. Ah! The dark storm rages. I must take control. It will kill you! If I don't stop the dark storm, then my death will be the least of our worries. God, this power! It's everything Rodda said it would be! I... I see. Feels I like I got stepped on by a mammoth, but I guess that yet. means I'm alive. What's going on? Why is the Dark Storm still going? You and Lyris must go. While I still possess the power of the Dark Heart, I can open a gateway to the Orrery. Return home. I can only control the Dark Storm from here. I understand now what must be done to stop it. I can use the power of the Dark Heart one last time. When I am finished, the energy will be gone, and our gate to the Orrery will be closed. You understand? Not any that can make everything right. I brought about this tragedy through my naivete, through my selfish desires, through my damn ideals and curiosity. It's my time of reckoning. Not yours. Feels like I got stepped on by a mammoth, but I guess that means I'm alive. What's going on? Why is the Dark Storm still going? Damn. I take back every bad thought I had about the Count. He's got conviction to match Sai Sahan's. We should go while he's still got the strength to send us back. This is farewell. I don't want to owe you, Verandas! Have faith. Rodda's last gift was hope. Staying behind. I'm sorry. He's staying? No. He promised. He promised me. It was the only way to. Look out! The Dark Heart! It's dormant. Arandis must have done it. He stopped the Dark Storm. Arana? I'm... alive? Look! The Dark Heart! It's dormant! Was that Verandas' doing, or that woman's? You don't have to explain. I know you would have brought him home if that were possible. This is how it had to be. I would like to hear the story sometime. Just not today. I got to say goodbye. There was so much more I wanted to say to him, but at least there was that. I need some time, but I'll carry on. I... I don't understand. Arana. She was dead, wasn't she? What's going on? Verandas is gone. Arana gets to live, but he doesn't. Is that it? How is that fair? You were supposed to bring him back. Just get away from me. Leave me alone. Who is this? One of Kadok's witches? I'm no illusion. Flesh and blood. Alive as can be. I can't say myself. I remember being here, in this room. I remember the wound. Then nothing but a cold, icy current dragging me under. I'd 
drowned for so long. Until a warm hand fished me out. I couldn't see. Everything was just warmth and light. There was a voice, though, guiding me, calling me back. It sounded like Verandas. As I live and breathe, it was Verandas who led me here. I don't understand much of what occurred. But of that, I'm certain. That, and I didn't come back alone. There were a great many others drowning in that icy current. I'm certain I wasn't the only one pulled ashore. It's just a feeling, but a strong one. I want to see if that feeling speaks true. Markarth. That's where the spirits call me now. I have no fondness for the place, but that's where my people need me. You did what you thought was best, and the price I paid has been returned. None of us could have imagined this is where our path would lead. But I've no complaints with the outcome. No complaints at all. Just go, please. Did I hear you right? Verandas brought that woman back to life? Not just raised her from the dead, actually restored her body and soul? Was that what the Count meant by making it right? He didn't just stop the Darkstorm. He used it to free the souls from the Darkheart. We've got to get to Markarth. Isn't that where Radha al Saran harvested souls for the Darkheart? If Verandas released them all, maybe Arana's right and she didn't come back alone. That's something we should see for ourselves. You go on ahead. Fen and Gwendis could use a moment. I'll make sure they make it to Markarth safely. Just bringing one person back should be impossible, sort of divine intervention. But we saw the Grey Host manage it more than once. If the Dark Storm was anything like the Harrow Storms in Western Skyrim, it just might be possible. I hope you're right. If Father managed to undo some of the harm the Grey Host caused, I know he'd be at peace with himself. Wherever he is. Just go, please. There were a great many others droning in that icy current. I'm certain I wasn't the only one pulled ashore. It's just a feeling, but a strong one. I want to see if that feeling speaks true. is celebrating. That magnificent bastard really did it. He brought them back. The Count enjoyed his mysteries, but yeah, I think so. When we started this, I thought the best we could do is pay Al Saran back for the lives he stole. Guess I should have set my sights higher. We rest. With Radha al Saran dead, the Grey Host is finally buried for good. We couldn't have done it without you, partner. So eat, drink, find some company for your bed. And tomorrow, tomorrow, we'll probably have to do this all over again.
It may seem odd coming from a Nord, but I'm glad to see all these Reach folk alive and well. They seem content, but I'm sure they wouldn't mind us bringing them a few more reasons to celebrate. News of Rada al Saran's death won't compare to the dead returning to life, but I'm sure Kadok will be relieved to hear it. You find the Ard and let him know there's nothing to fear from the Grey Host anymore. Tell him he has Verandas to thank. Why spoil the mood? I think... I'm going to take a moment. I haven't done that since Fenorian and I arrived in the Reach. Just fine. Even the great Lyris Titanborn needs a rest sometimes. Don't tell anyone. Life to the keep again! Ha! That's your doing, isn't it? The Ard seems to think so. He'll want to see you. He's holding an audience in his war room right now. What's this about a war room? Ah, you're here too, she... Titanborn. You come with me. I have a message for your ears alone. Fine. But if this is Kadok's idea of a joke, you won't find it funny. You go on and speak to Kadok. I'll see what's so important that your friend here has to tell me in private. I imagine the only message the Ard wants to share with me is of the unflattering variety, so I have no idea. Maybe the Scald King sent word? When I know, you'll know. Good to see you alive and well. Well, it's good to see everyone alive and well. I don't know to what gods we should be giving our thanks, but I wager we all owe you a good portion. We owe you for delivering Malakas' vengeance to that toothy bastard. Where is Count Verandis? I'd like to give him my proper thanks. He what? He... I cannot find my words. I don't know whether to mourn his loss or celebrate what he gave us. You should tell the Yard. He'll want to pay respect of his own, I'm sure. Agreed. If Eastern and Western Skyrim can put aside their differences in the face of the Grey Host, then the Reach can do so as well. Come forward, free hand. No need to bow for the sake of kings. Thank the gods we have better matters to attend to than the deployment of troops and suspicions of treachery. For a man called Despot, the Ard is in an agreeable mood. But that's not your concern. It's good to see you once more. Truthfully, Spana, when we learned that Markarth suffered an attack like the one you narrowly prevented in Solitude, she insisted that we offer aid, ostensibly to stop the Grey Host. But it seems we're a bit late for that. No doubt. They have proved very skilled at keeping to the shadows and biding their time. Hunting them down will not be easy. But I feel that's not how best to make use of the opportunity we've been given. The Grey Host's greatest weapon against us was our mutual mistrust. They preyed on our suspicions and fears, used our division to pick us apart one by one. The best way to prevent that from happening again would be to build trust and cooperation. An accord at least, 
It's a step in the right direction. Trust takes time to build, but we must start somewhere. I couldn't have done it without Svana. Uh, Jarl, Svana. Watching her put aside past differences between Eastern and Western Skyrim for the sake of her people has made quite an impression on me. Well, yes, I do. She's a striking woman, a, a figure, leader, yeah. She's won many hearts and minds in the short time she's been a Jarl. I think that speaks more to her esteem than my praise. Western Skyrim would do well to put her in charge. He doesn't want another war on his hands, and the Western Holds still desire their independence. Skyrim won't be united by force, but with more days like today, the province may one day be whole, no matter how many kings claim it. Whenever I see you, I know that Skyrim is in good hands. This business with the Grey Host is far from over. As long as Skyrim is threatened, I will be close by to lend a hand. The Reach is far from everyone's holdings. This Grey Host business started with me, though, and I always intended to see it through to the end. Thankfully, we prevailed this time. I do. She's an impressive young woman. Is Western Skyrim ready for Swana? That's the more pertinent question. Solitude shuns the outside world, while Swana reaches for it. We'll have to see how that works out in the end. I have no desire to replace a despot. Haven't these people suffered enough? In any event, my forces are stretched too thin to take on much more. If the people request help, however, I will put whatever resources I can at their disposal. Shores bones. Why does everyone insist on seeing ulterior motives behind every kind act? Can't a king just be a nice person? Look, someone has to extend the hand of friendship before it can be grasped. Hmm? Besides, helping the Reach helps all of Skyrim. You seem more comfortable standing among kings and jarls than I do. Then again, you always did. It's good to see you again. Western Skyrim has begun to recover. With Fen's elixir, our soldiers have been able to push back the Grey Host. I know the Reach has not been so fortunate. I persuaded Prince Ernskar and the Skald King to offer our support. I expected we'd be sending soldiers, but by the time we arrived, the people were dancing in the streets. I always heard stories of the City of Stone being a dark place where flint-hearted Reachmen worship strange gods. It's not so different from home. The people seem happier than I've ever seen, in spite of all our hardships. I wasn't the only one living under my father's shadow, apparently. I can't come and go as I please, but the Blue Palace is lively as any tavern with Mog around. Made him my royal taster. I don't think the thought of being poisoned even crossed his mind, but... He seems happy, so long as the food and drink keeps coming. Unofficially, he's also the jester, but... Don't tell him I said so. If you'd said only yesterday I'd play host to Nord rulers from across all Skyrim, I'd have told you the dead would live again before that happened. <sighs> and here we are. A day of miracles! Tell me, truthful. You had a hand in all this, eh? Alas! The monster that nearly brought my lands to ruin has paid the price for his wrongs. I could ask no more, and yet that, 
which was taken has been returned as well. Where is Count Ravenwatch? If he thinks to escape my gratitude... Huh. Then, his name and deeds will echo these halls for as long as I sit upon the throne. Which will be a while yet, thanks to you both. And so long as these Nords are good to their word. I've no idea what peace is like, but I'm eager to find out. We treat for peace. Our battles with the Grey Host have ravaged all our kingdoms and peoples. We each seek to rebuild and recover. Perhaps we'll do so together. At least we'll keep out of each other's way. Before we proclaim, I have a favor to ask. I've need of a counselor. In spite of her treachery, Lady Belaine is a canny advisor. I need that again now, more than ever. Tell the witch, Arana, that I will offer her my ear, if she will share her wisdom. I hear she's recently arrived to my keep. Aye, I suppose so. Can't just lop off her head after she got it back. Wouldn't do for morale. <laughs> Unless she's determined to keep up her fight with me. I'm willing to put the past to rest. Besides, I already made peace with the rest of her rebels. It's a worthy hold fast, but not so much a city. I would have the land worked, the stone repaired, and the markets expanded. But these are not things my kin have much knowledge in, but perhaps the Nords will share their trade for the right price. Hmm. Well, they're a fair lot more agreeable than the she-wolf you travel with. Have the sense to show deference to a king in his own hall. Though I heard enough honeyed words from the Lady Belaine for one lifetime. The fat one thinks himself a poet. Pah, <laughs> Skull King. Nonsense. Every now and then comes a king of his kind. One who makes stirring pronouncements and promises that his court must struggle to keep. His grand words lack guile, so I wager he can be trusted. The past would tell me to hate Svartgrim's whelp with all my vigor. We've battled and bled for more generations than I can count with her ilk. But this fledgling speaks plain and honest. When she talks of new beginnings, I believe her. I heard Yorin sired the boy when he was young, but looking at the pair, I have a hard time saying who's father and who's whelp. Ernskar seems shrewd and dutiful, but his father casts a long shadow. A wide one, too. <sighs> if you must, can't have in you thinking me ungrateful. My airs are burning. Is that my name on the wind? Not even this gloomy old stone keep can dampen my spirits. My dreams hold true. Markarth is alive with joy. But you didn't approach to listen to me. What is it you wanted? I'm barely foot to stone and he's clamoring for my attention. I had no mind to stand by a throne when I first started my journey. Now, here we are. The Reach has suffered so much. I want to help restore the land. Aye, I'll serve. 
I can speak for myself. You have more important matters to attend to. There's a friend who's journeyed a long way to thank you personally for all you've done. Twould be rude to keep him waiting. There's an out-of-the-way chamber in the rear of the keep where you can meet. Now, I should find the art and make sure he thinks before he speaks. <laughs> Aye, I can. But I won't. I'm enjoying the suspense. Off with you. What do you want? I'm sorry to have kept you waiting, my friend. Do forgive my ghastly appearance. It seems I spoke too soon when I bade you a final farewell. I'm glad to have the opportunity to see you again, my friend. None of this would have been possible without you. As did I. When I took hold of the Darkstorm's power, I believed it would be the last thing I ever did. It was a force no mortal hands should wield. Still, with it I was able to draw the souls out of the Dark Heart, return them to where they belonged. No, as the last of the Dark Heart's power ebbed away, I should have been trapped in Rodder's sanctuary realm. But I was forced out. Pushed, I'd say. I fell into the darkness of the slumbering heart. Then I emerged from it, like a moth from a cocoon. My soul became part of the dark heart, smelted inextricably into the fabric of its existence. So long as it remains dormant, its hold over me is tolerable. But I am bound to it nonetheless. If I am to be wed to this power, then I must ensure that it never gets used again. For that to happen, both the heart and I must fade into obscurity. House Ravenwatch will carry on without me. Arana will send them here to receive the news soon. I have no regrets. You gave me the opportunity to reckon with my past and pay penance. This journey has brought closure to the life of Count Verandis Ravenwatch. I have a fresh start. As do we all. The kings are soon to speak. You should be there. I have no idea what the future holds, but you seem to be the axis upon which this world turns. If it still has some use for me, I'm sure our paths will cross again. Until then. My friend. Arana said they'd be this way. Come on. Father. You. They said you were gone. I was. And I will be again. We have much to discuss, but I will not be returning to House Ravenwatch. But... Uh, who will... You three have no more need of a guardian. It's time I put the future of the Ravenwatch in your hands. But... You'll still visit, right? Every chance I get. I... I don't know what I expected when Arana said there was someone waiting to see us, but I never... I thought he was gone. I don't think there's anything left that could surprise me today. Forget I said that. Better not tempt fate. <clears throat> No, no, I don't mean to give the wrong impression. It's all just a bit much. Maybe I should sit down. Did he really say he wants us to take over the Raven Watch? Right. I didn't imagine it. The truth is, we were already considering the future of the Raven Watch after you returned without Verandas. It seems that will bear further discussion. But I'm relieved that the circumstances are different. Your vote of confidence is always encouraging. Gwendis could use some of that as well, I think. Have a word with her, won't you? You're to endure as much of the cheer and praise as the Ard and his people can heap upon you. 
And you're to have absolutely nothing to do with evil vampires for at least, I don't know, a day? Think you can manage that, recruit? Remember, you're representing House Ravenwatch now. Consider this a diplomatic mission. I believe the Ard was calling for you when we spoke to Arana. He was headed to the audience chamber with the other rulers, last I saw. Here and gone, here and gone. It's cruel to play with a girl's heart like this. But I'm glad Veranda's kept his promise. Ugh, I'm having too many feelings right now. Great, terrible, everything in between. I've waited so long for Veranda's to stop hovering over my shoulder. But I never thought it would be because he's not around. I realized something, though. When you and Lyris told me he wasn't coming back, I can't shed tears for him. It's not what he needs from me. He needs someone to carry on after him. To do the work he can't anymore. So that's what I'll do. Keep his legacy alive. Somebody has to keep tabs on all those pesky vampires. Don't think it's just for Andes I expect to visit. It'd be nice bumping into you somewhere other than a moldy cavern once in a while. Castle Ravenwatch is always open to you. It's not like we have a shortage of guest rooms. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to give Arandas an earful. I think I heard the Ard calling for you when we were talking to Arana. They're making some proclamation in the audience chamber. Better not miss your accolades. Adusa heard that Verandas had been imprisoned in the void, but he's here. Oh, forgive me. This one is glad to see you, Five Claw. Your help at Richwind Depths was much appreciated. Without your assistance, Cathard would still be in the deep tombs. There was a time when this one felt more like a nursemaid than compatriot to those two. But Gwendis and Fenorian are no longer helpless kittens. Count Varandis need not worry. Adusa stands firm. House Ravenwatch will endure. House Ravenwatch has a long and noble tradition. This one will run the estate in Count Verandas' absence. She has done so before. As for the Ravenwatch, our work will continue. Gwendis is coming into her own, and Fenorian shows promise. Cathard has much training to complete before he can take his place as a fully functional member of the Ravenwatch. Oh, he has the skills and the proper outlook, but he needs time to hone those abilities and learn our methods. He will work out well. Now, I must bid farewell to my beloved wards. I have never been comfortable with goodbyes, but I should realize by now that they are rarely forever. I won't be joining the festivities, but rest assured, I will be watching. Well? Quiet, you speak with a smile. I thought you might enjoy a welcome surprise for once, Snow Lily. Oh, sigh. You always know how to... Oh, uh... Hello, partner. Thank you again for agreeing to help Lyris and I with our little problem. It seems there is always trouble that needs fixing. But it's good to find a moment for celebration now and again. What? No! Never! <laughs> you are always welcome in our company. Good companions are hard to find. Don't let us keep you from your moment of honor, though. There will be plenty of time to share stories after all the accolades. <clears throat> Sai and I were just talking about the Ashen Lord, and, well, a few other topics came up. Nothing that bears mentioning. Of course that bears mentioning, Sai. Look, partner, you understand, right? Braden said there was a mysterious Red Guard looking for me. The way he said it, my first thought was Rada al-Saran found his way back, too. 
But no. Just Sai trying to surprise me. I punched him extremely hard. And then I hugged him. Skyrim is a nice place to visit, but I need to see what's over the horizon. And yes, I think that Sai wants to go with me. The Skull King can spare me for a while. Besides, he owes me. Where will we go? Somewhere far away. Maybe back to Skingrad. People like us can't stay out of trouble very long. So let's share a few casts of mead while things are quiet. Oh, Kadok's looking for you. He and the other rulers want to make some big announcement. I'll be along in a moment. I haven't, but I'm sure you can keep them busy for a while longer. Right, partner? Sai and I still have a few... dents to bang out of my armor. Finally, the guest of honor has arrived. Let's have a word before we begin. Not a moment too soon. Kadak's eager to demonstrate that he's the equal of any Nord king. He hopes it will legitimize his claim as king of the Reich. He's not wrong, but he'd look more a fool if I weren't here to keep his temper on a leash. That I am. It's a new dawn. For me, for Markarth, for the Reich. After all you've done to bring it back from the brink of oblivion, putting up with Kadok's arse-headed notions is the least I can do to make sure it wasn't wasted effort. Let's not stretch the bones of Raisin. There'll be no shortage of bickering and cursing in our future, but there's trust. So long as we both want what's best for the Reich, that'll do. Best to see him now. I can see him casting glares our way. Adventurers, <laughs> come and go as you please. Keep three kings and a jarl fighting on their thumbs in a crowded hall. <laughs> Suppose you've earned that right, Rover. Near everybody in this room wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. Simply put, I, I like that. In doing what needed doing, you brought all the crowns of Skyrim to one hall. You put the Grey Host back in the ground, and it gave us clear skies. At last, we can see where we must go. Take this with all our thanks. Free hands of Markarth! You long-suffering lot, I call my kin! We've survived another long night. Darker than we've ever known, but we did nay endure it alone. Against the Grey Host we found unlikely allies, and put aside old grudges. Together, we not only survived, we flourished! We owe these miracles to the efforts of all kinds. Reachmen, Nord, Vampire, Outlander, heroes of every stripe. Let us follow their example. We have warred together. We celebrate together. Let us rebuild together. From this day forward, we clash mugs instead of swords. Peace and prosperity to all our kingdoms. Cheers to the heroes of Skyrim. Let us remember them with song and drink. We, the children of Skyrim, we shall endure. <laughs> <laughs> 